In the previous tutorial, we looked at representing black and white images. What we can do now is using a similar file format called PGM, we can actually represent an image now with a whole variety of shades of grey. As before, we can create the image in a standard text editor and we can view it in a standard text editor as well. But instead of having P1 now, we have P2 as our magic number. We can also put a comment in as before. We include the dimensions of the image. But another, another change is this value here, this 15 here. This value here represents the number of shades of grey that we'd like to have in our image. So our values now can, represent, can go from 0 all the way up to 15. 0 being black and 15 being white. So if we, and of course these values here from lines 5 to 11 represent the actual data values that we have. But instead of now having just zeros and ones, we have a whole range of values from 0 to 15. So let's have a look how, to how this image displays. So let's open up in Photoshop. Again, there are lots of image editors that display this file format. It's just Photoshop is, happens to be the one that I have. And again, we need to zoom in on it because it's a very small image, only 24 by 7 pixels. So, so there we go. That's what that image, image looks like. We can go back, and if you wish to edit those values, that's fine, and, and maybe try writing your own name out in, 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 in this file format as well. 